Hello folks, well, Gary GSF out on the Tracer, close to the end of January, uh, mid-winter, uh, temperature not too bad, 11 degrees, uh, not too bad for this time of year, but uh, it is seriously windy, I don't know if you could, if the mic's picking it up, but it is seriously windy, um, it's blowing a gale, but uh, I say, you, you sort of get used to the wind when you're riding a motorbike, but uh, today all I'm really going to talk about this just where I was at the weekend and just give a short ho hotel review of uh, where we stayed. Uh, overall pretty impressed. I uh, have stayed on it before but uh, I'll say I just thought I would do a, a review on it. We stayed on Sunday night in the Trim Castle Hotel, that's T-R-I-M, Trim, in County Meath uh, in Ireland. Now, um, it's a four star hotel. Um, just directly across from Trim Castle. Uh, uh, Trim Castle was uh, used in one of the one of the, the venues in, used in the, the, the movie Braveheart uh, by uh, William Wallace. It was actually dressed as a, an English castle at that stage, but it is a, an exist an old castle that's um, you know it's in pretty good repair and it's, it's certainly worth a visit. Uh, I've, I've been around it in the tour and you know really quite enjoyed it. It was uh, nice to look around and definitely worth a visit. Now for anyone visiting you know Southern Ireland if they would be flying into Dublin, it would be a, a reasonably good base. It's about I would guess around about 20 25 miles from Dublin Airport. It might even be less than that. But it's, a, it's not far from, from Dublin Airport and it's a, it's a good hotel. Now when we, we arrived and we went into the reception which is uh, bright and airy and uh, all marble, very well well presented uh, and the, the reception staff were absolutely fantastic, uh, really friendly, offered advice, you know, where to go and you know, if you were looking for a bit of entertainment they could tell you where to go and if you were looking for a quiet, quiet beer they could tell you where to go. As we had said there, we had our own favourite spots. Um, but uh, it was nice to have that all offered to you. Um, it's really bright and airy. It's a, it's a modern boutique style hotel, so it's um, uh, all glass. You know, the, at the front. I'll say the front. The front of the hotel looks over the, the, the castle. Now, the room we had was on the third floor, uh, the, the, which is the top floor. Is it's only three, three uh, levels or well, four levels on it if you take the ground floor, but th uh, three levels of bedrooms. And uh, with uh, and uh, it, it was uh, entered the rooms, lovely, good place room with uh, really a good state of repair and a uh, um, nice little sitting area. It was ample, ample size, um, and it was a, a nice little sitting area. The room was uh, marble and granite, uh, the, the, the bathroom was marble and granite, had a bath, shower uh, and WC, so uh, all spotlessly clean and fresh bed linen and so there's nothing really much to be faulted about it. Uh, if I had a thought I was going to make this uh, review, maybe if we would have taken some footage, maybe try to grab my GoPro and take it with me, but I uh, didn't think. But uh, no, nice place to visit. So uh, if you're ever in around that, uh, well, it's nor north of Dublin. If you're ever in around that area and you're looking somewhere to stay, the deal we had on Sunday night was uh, bed and breakfast. Um, uh, on bed and breakfast basis, on a, an offer for for Sunday, and it was 65 euros. Really inexpensive uh, for for a quality hotel. Uh, we did have our meal in in the hotel. Now, um, the, the, the was like we took took it in the bistro bar area, which uh, we we would prefer rather than uh, the full formal uh, dining room. 
So they, they had an offer on, which um, was a three course three course meal uh, for nineteen euros ninety five. Again, really inexpensive. Uh, that's quite quite nice. Uh, the only th the only thing that we could say downside of that was what was offered on the on the uh, website that had, had showed a menu on the website for that that three course meal, and it didn't correspond with the with the one that we're presented with, and uh, with other things chosen from it that uh, that that was that were not available. But uh, after we got around that, uh, we, we, we got stuff off off the menu. We could have also gone for the the, the main menu as well, uh, which was re reasonably inexpensive too. But uh, it was it was stuck with the the, the set one. So to start with, uh, my wife had uh, the, the the vegetable soup and wheat and bread, which is uh, just yeah, normal. Uh, she said it was tasty enough. I had the spicy spicy hot chicken wings, which was absolutely lovely, really really pleasant. Uh, there was lots of them too. Uh, come the lovely spicy sauce, uh, and well, the, the come with a blue cheese dip, which I'm not fond of. So just ask them for sweet jelly dip, and not an issue. So um, that was really, really pleasant. I went on to uh, the next course, and the missus had a, a chicken dish that was uh, served on a bed of spicy rice. Uh, uh, and she thought it was absolutely lovely. Maybe the rice was, the, it was uh, infused with a drop of oil. And she, she said maybe it was a wee bit oily, but not not too bad. I had a sirloin steak. Uh, not my favourite cut of steak, of course, but uh, um, it was re really well done. As for medium, came out with lovely pink and uh, the nice nice flavour, nicely seasoned. Uh, came with a pepper sauce and uh, on a wee bit of. So it was uh, seriously, seriously pleasant, uh, and uh, it cooked to perfection. And then for dessert, I think we both had the pavlova, which was uh, lovely. Came with, with uh, you know, with fresh fruit and uh, cream, and they offered us uh, Scooby ice cream with it as well, which we both took, and it was uh, absolutely lovely for 19 euros 95 each. It was really, really good value. And uh, I, I would recommend anyone staying on it to, to look at that menu. And the, the the bar area was very comfortable, and there was an area to it that uh, was, was quite quiet. The main bar had plenty of people in having a drink, but uh, the, this other area was actually quite nice. Uh, uh, not not so many, and it wasn't packed, um, and really good. So all in all, it was a a, a nice trip. It was only a one overnighter. It was, uh, just we had appointments uh, to, to keep on the, the Tuesday, we would stay two nights, but uh, but uh, it, it worked out well, it was very, very, very nice. So uh, there you go, well, that's, that's my thoughts on the Trim Castle Hotel, if uh, you ever visit that part of the world, it's certainly worth a look um, it's, it's quite a very quite a well presented hotel uh, worthy of its four stars now it doesn't have a leisure center in it although it has a deal with a, a local leisure center that uh, well, that will will uh, provide they'll give you discounted uh, rates on it but um, the hotel itself doesn't contain a leisure center but uh, all in all very nice place uh, and well worth visit. So for now this is Gary GSF uh, signing off and hopefully I didn't bore you too long when we're rambling. Uh, if you've stuck to this stage, you've done well. The gold stars in the post. So thanks for watching. Anyone riding bikes, ride safe. Anyone driving cars, drive safe. And uh, if you're walking, stay safe. So adios for now. Gary GSF signing out.